Hi, my name is Jamin Gurker. I'm a realtor in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help people build an intentional and significant legacy for themselves and their families by coaching them in real estate. Now, today, what we're going to be talking about is the real estate market update for what is going on in Eagle River, Alaska. There are some really interesting, uh, really interesting trends that we're seeing from 2020 being carried over and uh, 2021, as far as we can tell. So I'm looking forward to diving into that. Before we get started, do make sure you give this video a like so more people can, can find this content that's gonna help them as they're making decisions going into the future. And without further ado, let's go and jump into it today. The first thing that we're gonna start with is the number of properties that are currently active on the market in Eagle River. Now, this is important because it gives us the overall inventory and the number of options that are available to buyers at the moment. Now, what we're seeing is we're seeing a pretty significant drop and compression of the number of properties that are available. As you can see over here in December, which is the past month where we have all the data available where we can talk about it, it's we're actually seeing about a 50% drop in the number of, of homes that are on the market. There was 119 in 2019 and 2020, there were 63. So, and that's that's not necessarily true for every month, but we are seeing shortage of inventory across the board for all of last year. So inventory was down. The second thing that I want to look at is just the average sold price for what we're seeing across Eagle River. Now across the board, we're seeing Eagle River saw a significant uptick in the number and the um, amount of the average sold price across the board. But for the past month in December, we see that it went from about 422 in 2019 to about $399,000 during December. But across the board, we are seeing that people got more for their homes last year in Eagle River than they got in the previous years. But you kind of have to look at that and then compare it with the rest of the year leading up to that point. So that's, that's what we're seeing for the average sold price in Eagle River. Finally, when we're looking at residential properties, what we also have to check out is the number of overall units that were sold in the market during this time period. Now, we obviously see a pretty significant increase in the number of units that sold, even though the inventory was way down. And we'll get to more of this in the summary, but what we're seeing here is the inventory actually went, or I'm sorry, the number of properties that actually sold went up pretty significantly. So that's, uh, that's looking at the number of properties that have actually sold, and that's pretty true across the board here for all of last year also. So the number of properties that actually sold was up. We'll get to more of that, why that might be in the summary. Let's switch gears a little bit and take a look at the condo market in Eagle River. This chart over here, very similar to the residential, shows us that we're seeing a decrease in the number of active condos that are on the market in Eagle River. Not quite as, as, um, as dramatic as what you would see in the residential market, but still a downtick. There was about 21 homes on the market last year. This year, there's 17. So not a huge sample size anyway, but we are seeing a decrease in the number of properties that are available on the market. Now let's take a look at the average sold price for condos in Eagle River for the time period that we're looking at. For the past full month in December, we see that the average sold price went from about 214 the year before to about $283,000. So it's kind of a small sample size. So what that means is it can get thrown off by any number of things, but that's still a direction we do like to see it going. And across the board, you do also see a very similar trend. Maybe not as extreme, but you are seeing across the board in Eagle River, average sold price is going up for condos as well. So healthy indicator, talk more about it in the summary. Finally, let's check out the total number of condos sold in the market during the time period that we're looking at here in Eagle River. Now, small sample, but what we, what we are seeing is that four properties sold in Eagle River during the time period that we're looking at in the past December, whereas six sold this December that, uh, that we were in. So that, that is a pretty good increase if you're just looking at percentages. Keep in mind, not a huge market to begin with, but that's also pretty healthy indicator. Again, more about that in the summary. Let's take a quick break today. Did you know that I actually host a podcast? Well, it's true. It's called Alaskan Journey, and I actually 
just posted a podcast interview with Neil Freed, who is an economist with the state of Alaska, discussing what the future looks like for the Alaskan economy going into 2021. So it was a really interesting, insightful interview, so I highly recommend checking that out and just seeing what 21 holds from the economic standpoint. So definitely go check that out. The link for that is gonna be in the description down below. And let's go ahead and finish today's video. Last but not least, let's talk about the multifamily uh, market here in Eagle River. Now let's start out with all the, like all the others, looking at the number of active properties on the market. This shows us that we had six on the market, whereas last year it was eight. So not a huge sample size to be drawing from to begin with, but you see inventory for multifamily properties in Eagle River is significantly lower. Now let's talk about the average sold price for multifamily units here in Eagle River. This chart is all over the place. It is patchy. There are entire months here. Let me just step back so you can kind of see it where there's no data to show. It is very challenging to use this in a really good way. But I did want to show it to you just so you just so you kind of see the average sold price for multi-unit properties in Eagle River is kind of all over the place. It's not a huge sample size. And so you're going to see these numbers just fluctuate because keep in mind, this is, this is encompassing all multifamily properties, not just with, like with residential where it's just that one unit. You might have duplex all the way up to eightplex. So this is all over the place. For that reason but did want you to see it average sold price for multi-units in eagle river was down but you know we'll talk about more more about that in the summary though now finally let's check out the number of total sold units looking at the multi multi-family properties here in eagle river now if we look at it just the entire year together we see that last year we sold about 14 multi-family properties here in eagle river whereas the year before only 10 sold so not a huge sample size but what we do see is that we're seeing an increase in the number of multi-family properties that are actually selling now let's tie all this up into a nice pretty bow and give it to you in a summary that's really digestible so number one if we're looking at residential properties the inventory is low it continues to be low it has been low for about a year at this point and that's that kind of it has impacts on what we're seeing on the other main points which is the price is up you know past month in december might not be as high as what it was in earlier in the year but we're seeing that the average sold price is still significantly up just because the inventory is is low which brings me to my final point demand is high for residential properties in eagle river so if you have a home and you're thinking about selling it you're probably not going to find any better conditions in which to do it if you are if you're looking at buying we have to just be very intentional about what it is that you're looking for just to make sure that you're going to be the one that that wins when you're the one going and making the offer on the property so that's the summary if we're looking for residential properties Secondly, let's check out the overall view of what we're seeing for condos in Eagle River. So inventory is down. That's, that's something we've known for quite a while. So con condo inventory is going to be down. The price is going to be going up a, a pretty sizable amount. It actually increased by about 5.63% year over year for what we're seeing for, for condos in the Eagle River area. So the price of condos is going up, which means the demand does still remain pretty high. So that's that's fairly, that's pretty significant. So that's gonna be your summary for what's going on in condos here in Eagle River. It's gonna be a very similar story to what you're seeing in the, the residential market, just on a smaller scale. Finally, let's go ahead and do a review of what's going on in the multifamily market. So what we're seeing is inventory has been down just really across the board. We're not working with as much inventory as we have in residential or even the condo market though so what we're seeing is that there's less inventory available but it doesn't take very much to kind of throw stuff off in this market when you have so little inventory so inventory is low average sold price is down by 14.1 percent so that's that's pretty significant that's going from 
I'm going from roughly about 453 down to about four, or I'm sorry, three, uh, 380, 380 something and some change. So that's a pretty significant little dip there. And also we're seeing that there's demand um, just in the number of units that are being sold, but it's not necessarily just knock down the door, everyone's ready to go. And I think the reason for that is that we are um, we are in a situation where a lot of investors are expecting to, um, to see a big, big increase, or sorry, big increase in the number of foreclosure properties that are on the market. So they're kind of just waiting around, seeing if anything's gonna materialize. And as I mentioned in a video, which is gonna be up above, um, we're really not seeing that in the numbers. Could be wrong, could be wrong. But what we're seeing in the numbers right at the moment not really convinced that's, that's gonna be the case, that we're gonna see a lot of foreclosures. But in anticipation of that, a lot of investors are kind of holding back and just waiting to see what happens uh, with everything that's going on. So that's gonna be your update for what's going on in the residential, the condo, and the multifamily markets. I sure hope this was useful for you. If it has, you know what to do. Give this video a like. If you have questions, post those in the comment section down below. If you'd like to reach out to me directly, please do so through my Facebook page. Link for that is gonna be in the description down below. Make sure to check out the Instagram page. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later.